Good morning, good morning. It's 3.55 a.m. It's a Wednesday. I'm on my way to the gym. It's Groundhog's Day. I'm lying. It's March. It's not Groundhog's Day. <laughs> so ever since I've been doing this meditating in the morning, I've been sleeping. And what it what happens is I end up falling asleep. <clears throat> and getting up 45 minutes to an hour later sometimes but that's okay listen wh what I'm going to keep this video short because I did get up so I'm just going to rob everybody well, let me ask you this real simple question and I say simple but it's it's not because I think it's what everybody thinks they want or it's what everybody's looking for. But if you're not doing or living life on your terms and what makes you happy, why would you ever be in a rush to get anywhere? I mean, because the fact of the matter is, is life is short enough, right? I mean, look at the weeks, look at the days, look at how quick they go by. Look at how quick and how soon it is before you're celebrating the new year. Look how it felt like it was just yesterday that you were 25 and now you're 45. Just imagine you get to a point of no return and you actually wake up and realize you never lived your life on your terms. You never lived your life the way you wanted to. And all you simply do it was wish every day by. Wish Monday through Friday by so that you can get to the weekend. You wished half your life away in a rush, going nowhere to do nothing that actually meant anything to you. So when I got up and I, I found out that I had fell asleep and what I usually like to be at the gym by four o'clock it's five minutes till so I'm gonna be a little bit late my initial reaction was to start rushing but then I said what the fuck am I rushing for what are you gonna rush for it's the gym it's not going anywhere take care of yourself and the gym is a part of, you know, my rituals daily to take care of myself. It's my exercise. It makes me feel good. It makes me look good. So I like it. But that doesn't mean I'm going to ruin the beginning of my morning by rushing around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to get somewhere that is not going anywhere. It's not like it has legs and it says, hey, Jermaine did show up. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. And then I show up and find out the gym done left because I was late. I'll leave you with this. The only thing in this life that you can be late for is what you were destined and put here for. That is it. Because at some point in time, you'll wake up and you'll realize that you never once, never once actually lived up to your truest potential. That's about the only thing that you could be late for is living your life on your terms. That's it. I'm out. Thank you for watching.